Now, what is up my fellow prod coders? Welcome to this video. And today we'll start building our search results list. So if we head over to the screenshot, then we see that we're displaying a list of search results. And uh, so there will be some parent component and this component will hold n arbitrary items. So in this case, 20, because now we're displaying 20 results. And uh, each of these individual search results will display some details about whatever we searched for. For example, burger places in Berlin. Okay, so let's get started immediately. Let's go to our code editor. And since this component will live exclusively inside the search component, let's just create a new folder in here and call it search results. So plural, and this indicates that there will be multiple, that it will group multiple results together, right? So let's create a search results.js file and let's create a search results.module.css file for styling. And in here, we can just create the standard React skeleton. So we can say export function search results right now we don't have any props and let's just return a diff with some text in here and finally we of course need to wire this one up so in here we can just say search results okay so right now we should see text yes so this is where our result list will go but before we actually start building out the list, uh, let's maybe start by building the smallest element in here, which would be this component. So like a component that displays one individual search result. And that's also the reason why we did search results with S like plural, because in here we're going to create another component and this will be called search result. And this one will host uh, one individual search result while search results uh, module.css while search results, so plural, will host a list of these items. And the same in here, so we can create an empty uh, component. So we can say import React from React. And then we just export our component and we just return a div and just say search result and of course we need to wire this one up so let's just i don't know create something in here and let's just say search result and let's just put one item here for now okay so if we go back to our component yes we see that we have one search result item here and of course if we were to put two of these we would see like two of them right makes sense so now that we have the basic structure out of the way uh, let's think about how we're going to build this search result component so this thing here if we break this down actually consists of three parts so here we have uh, an image let me just reduce the opacity a little bit. Then here we have some general information. Okay, let's make this yellow. And here we have some address information like contact details, address, phone, and whatnot. So actually this component itself consists of three different parts and um, they are all horizontally laid out. And I can already hear you saying, okay, that should be pretty easy because we can just use Flexbox, right? So all of these, so these three individual parts, so to say, will be wrapped inside a Flex container. And this is exactly what we will do. So let's go to our uh, code editor and let's go to our search result. And uh, yeah, let's just create a new uh, CSS class 
which we will call search result. And in here we will say display flex. And we need to import our styles. So we can say import styles uh, from search result.module.css. And then we assign the class we just created, which is say class name equals and then styles uh, dot yeah it's with a dash oops and then we need to use this bracket notation because it's with a dash cool so now we have our flex container ready so let me just so here's the image uh, so we will put in an image here like so here will be the image then here will be the uh, general info and here will be the address data okay and all these things should be laid out horizontally of course there's now no spacing between them but you know what i'm talking about right so this image here uh, will be uh, the image itself the general information part is this yellow part and then we have the address data so let's get started and let's head over let's go back to our editor and let's just worry about the image for a second so we can just say img uh, source equals okay something and then we can say um, yeah what's the maybe business image and then we can close this up now we need to have some image but since we have don't have anything dynamic right now we don't know like what to put there so we're just going to get a placeholder image and the easiest way to do this is to go to a site called uh, placeholder.com and in here uh, you can just uh, copy, copy and paste this url and then if you can add the dimensions like after the slash so if you say 150 then it's going to get to give you like 150 pixels times 150 pixels image so a width and a height of 150 pixels so we are just going to do that now maybe it should be a little bit bigger right why can't i copy this what's wrong here ah, interesting uh let's go back and let's just copy and paste this okay <laughs> Yeah, so now we should see um, that you don't, that we have something. Okay, so let's go back. Yes, so here we go. You see, we now have this image. And that will be the first part of what we have here, like this one. And the second part will be this uh, text over here. And the third part will be the address. Now, the thing is, somehow these elements they are not properly spaced out here so what we can do is we can go to our search results uh, component and we can just say okay why don't we give this one a class and then add a little bit of spacing so we could say search uh, results and then we say everything that is a direct descendant uh, let's just add maybe a margin uh, top of one ram and then in here we can say we need to import our styles so import styles from search results dot module dot css please make sure that it has the s here and then we can say class name equals and then styles at search results okay so we should actually see something now yes so you see now it's a little bit better. So at least we can distinguish the two items. But of course, we're not really far. Like this is just a general setup of our result list. But uh, I see that we're almost hitting 10 minutes now. So let's just uh, continue in the next video. And let's continue building this component out. And afterwards, we can take care of actually fetching data from the Yelp API. So thank you very much for watching. Um, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and please also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so.